Good morning everyone and welcome to my 46 VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use checkboxes in your user forms. So checkboxes are just simple tick boxes. Uh, if we insert a new user form, um, so they're this one here, checkbox. Uh, the, I, the difference between them and an option box is uh, you've probably seen on forms yourself option boxes you have them on and you can only click one of them check boxes you can take as many as you like so let's put a few of these on here but I'm just gonna have three and then three and then just put a label say Let's just put in how many courses or which courses would you like? So the idea of this is just a little one that you send out for catering. Um, I don't know why that came into my head. I'm not a caterer. So let's have starter, main, dessert, and obviously depending on how how posh you are, you might want to put some more checkboxes on there for, for extra courses. Um, there we go, so, and then let's just put a command button in, it says confirm. And let's change the background colour, because again the background colour is very boring, so let's make it a nice uh, pinky colour, that's lovely. And let's make all of them have a background of a nice pinky colour. Oh, that's a bit bright. Let's not go too crazy. And pink. Right, and then let's just change our font again. You might have noticed that I'm very anal about um, the way user forms look. I hate it when you open up someone else's spreadsheet and it's got just boring grey user forms in it try to just don't don't do it like this obviously because having bright pink and stuff isn't very professional but if, if you put on like decent colors or like a company's color scheme maybe then it, then it, they can start to look really professional um if your company's color schemes pink and yellow then obviously pink and yellow will look professional but um caption um, if we delete the caption, it's just not going to have any title at all, so let's just get rid of that. Um, so let's just press play, and as you can see, I can tick and untick each one individually. They don't, by ticking one, it's not turning one off now. So I can ch choose to have a main or dessert. I can choose to have just a main. I can have a start and a main. Or if I'm feeling really crazy, I can have a start and a dessert. Um, just go, go mental now, but... Um, and then similarly with option buttons, uh, let's just take this confirm and then let's just have on our spreadsheets, so starters, mains, desserts, and then let's just name these ranges, so starter, range, Main range and dessert range. Make sure you spell desserts wrong. <laughs> and oh, my starters range hasn't uh, put itself in. There we go. So starters range, main range, and then. We just want to go if user form one dot checkbox one dot value equals true. Ooh. And put a then on the end of our if. And then if that's true, then we want to make our range more. So this workbook dot sheet sheet one dot range starter 
underscore range dot value equals and then let's just copy this plus one just increment it and if and then we just want to copy and paste this and once again say this one we want to change the checkbox to and if checkbox 2 is right then we want to be doing main underscore range equals main range plus one and then checkbox 3 we want to be doing dessert underscore range and then comment on that one so let's close this off and um we just got a glimpse of my um my tutorial plan there uh let's just go into our user form press play so i'm going to have a start and a main press confirm and then it doesn't work and then we work out why let's just press stop it's because i've called it starters range so let's just change that and that. So start out main confirm and it's going to put one in there. Next person comes along main and dessert, puts them in there. Next person has all three because they're greedy. Next person has star and a main. Next person has just a main. Star and main. And then finally the craze because has a star and dessert. And it's just going to count how many we need. So that's just a really quick way of showing you how checkbox work hopefully that makes sense um if you've got any questions use for so far just drop them in the comments let me know um, and i'll try to get back to you um well that's going to be it for this tutorial uh you saw a glimpse of my plan so let's look at our next one so next in the plan is list box so next tutorial i'll be showing you how to use a list box thanks for listening and i hope to catch you there